Good morning, Kings fans, and welcome to your last pregame skate practice update before the Olympic break here at the Toyota Sports Center in El Segundo, ahead of the Columbus Blue Jackets game tonight at Staples Center. Kings have been on the ice here this morning for about uh, 15 minutes now. Probably won't last a whole lot longer. Again, these pregame uh, skate practices last about 20 minutes, as I've indicated in the past. Right now, you're watching as I am the uh, the first drills here this morning with uh, with actual lines. And right there, I'm seeing Stoll, Center, Nolan, and Clifford, which is interesting. And you're gonna, I'll tell you what I see here. Oh, okay. Uh, so the centers are switching up here because um, a little bit earlier it was the standard first line with Kopitar between Carter and uh, Toffoli, but now that was Frazier in that last line rush. So I don't think that's going to stay the same, but I guess anything's possible. So I'll just keep looking here. And I'll make a couple notes. Uh, you know, tonight's game is significant in a number of ways. It, it means... A lot of things, I'm sure, to fans, including uh, taking some kind of positive into the uh, extended break for the Kings with a victory, and then quite the reverse, leading into what is one of their worst droughts that I can remember um, in recent years over the last 20 games or so. The Blue Jackets and the Kings in the standings as I'm sure many of you know, are really actually pretty pretty close in the opposite conferences. Columbus in seventh, Kings in seventh, both hold I think the same playoff position currently in the wild, you know, the, the new uh, playoff format system. And their records are actually very close. So with a win tonight by the Blue Jackets, they I think they will be just two points behind the Kings. Not that that makes any difference, but it just tells you in terms of where the Blue Jackets are how far they've come and how far the Kings have fallen of late that I'm sure they are going to be very motivated tonight. I'm sure the Jack Johnson angle will be covered and and, uh, and hyped up a little bit. And, um, you know, it's only natural to have, I'm sure, by him a little bit of uh, excitement and motivation, extra motivation tonight, but I'm sure he wouldn't tell you that. Um, so that's that's tonight's contest. Here this morning, we are without Jeff Schultz, who went back to Manchester, as you know, and uh, Alec Martinez, who is right there, currently paired with Jake Muzzin, is back on the ice uh, in his first uh, pregame skate since injuring his elbow back uh, in that outdoor game. So. That's good to see. I have no idea yet uh, if he will be uh, in the lineup tonight, but we, we will find out. Um, the other news is um, there's a lot of uh, chat on Twitter about Kyle Clifford. He is here on the ice, so uh, if, there, if, there, uh, if there indeed is some kind of move made involving him, it hasn't, uh, if it, it, it wasn't done earlier, because not to say it won't happen, but... Obviously, if it was imminent, I would think he would be held off. So that's that. It looks to me here as though this is a uh, some power play work. So they're switching things up, but I'm going to take a little bit of a break. And I'll come back with another video and uh, show this. Pass. I'll make sure this is the power play and pick it up from there. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Paul of Kingspan Daily. Go things go.